Here in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Honor Lock to access our quizzes and exams. Honor Lock is an online proctoring tool that we'll be using for every quiz and every exam in our class. And I just want to walk you through the process just so that we can see how it works. So to start, head to our course homepage and click on the blue Honor Lock button on the left hand side of your screen. The first thing that will happen is it will check to make sure that you have the Honor Lock Chrome extension installed. Um, Honor Lock will only work with Google Chrome. It will not work with Safari, Edge, Microsoft Explorer, um, or Internet Explorer, Firefox, anything like that. We have to be using Google Chrome. So to get the extension, I'm going to check this little box by clicking on it that says that I agree to, agree to the terms of service, and then click on the Get Started button. And it should launch the Chrome Web Store right here. Take me directly to the Honor Lock extension. So you just need to click Add to Chrome. It'll ask me, hey, are you sure you want to add this to Chrome? Yes, I am. So click on Add Extension. And it should install pretty quickly. Once you see the box that says Honor Lock has been added to Chrome, we can go back to our Canvas page. And it should detect pretty quickly that we have the extension installed. Now we can access all of our quizzes and exams. The first one you'll see right here is an Honor Lock practice quiz. I am offering extra credit for you to walk through that process. And that's mostly just so that you can have some practice of going through the authentication process on your own. Um, you'll see me do it here. But I also want to be able to show you how to uh, access my math lab from using Honor Lock, which the practice quiz doesn't cover. So that's why we're doing this video. So you'll click on whatever quiz or exam you're going to take, and we'll click on Launch. Now, if you haven't used Honor Lock before, actually, before we do that, it's going to open the Honor Lock screen here. So here's your Honor Lock screen. We want to scroll down and click Launch Proctoring right here. And now, OK, if you haven't used Honor Lock before, it'll ask permission to use your webcam and your mic. You do have to grant it access in order to use Honor Lock. Once you do that, it'll also check um, for secondary displays. So if you have an external monitor, a second monitor, it'll ask you to disconnect that. So here, um, I'm going to start by taking a picture of my face. So you move your face into the outline. Take a lovely picture of yourself. It'll ask for an ID. This can be either a government issued ID or a school ID. Uh, if you want to use another school other than Moraine Valley, that's fine with me. As long as it has your picture and your name on it, uh, you'll click I have, your, I have my ID, which I don't. I have the Starbucks gift card. But you'll have your ID. And you'll take a picture of your ID. And hopefully it'll come up OK. Yes, it did. And now it's going to ask for a room scan. So the room scan is just to make sure that you are the only person in the room and that you don't have any notes out, you don't have any textbooks out, anything like that. So I'm going to click Begin Room Scan. If you have a laptop, be very careful here. Make sure you don't drop it. But you're just going to show me a 360 degree scan of your room. So I'm in, a, I'm in a rotating chair, which is really nice. I can just kind of spin around and show, OK, there is nobody else in the room. Um, show your desk area to, so that I can see that there are no notes out or anything like that. Show your lap so that I can see that you don't have your phone there or anything there. Scratch paper we'll be using pretty much every time. So show me all of the scratch paper. Usually two pieces should be enough, but show me both sides, front and back, so that I can see that is blank. And last, but most importantly, if you have a cute pet, make sure you get them in the room scan too. So here I have uh, my cute dog. You can get him in. It's a very critical step. And then once you're all done, you'll click I'm done. It'll show you a little replay. If you're happy with that replay, you can go ahead and click Yes to submit. It'll also ask to record your screen. So this process might look a little bit different if you're on a Mac or if you're on a Windows. I'm on a Chromebook, so you'll just click Share. And then you're ready to take your exam. So go back to your main Honor Lock page right here. And if you scroll down, you'll see instruction, or instructions from your professor, from me. Um, and I will post the link to the quiz or the exam. 
So we need to click on that. It should open up the page and it will ask for a password here. So if we go back to this little honor lock proctoring window, you can click insert password. And it'll automatically fill out the password for you. And then click submit it should open up your quiz. So here, if you're ready to start, we can go ahead and start the exam. And let's see if it'll load up. Yes, it will. Let me make this a little bit bigger here. So it'll load up your questions. Um, you can handle these one at a time. Um, I have you know arrows down here to get to the next question. Usually each quiz will be 10-ish questions or so. When you are finished, you can go ahead and click Submit Quiz. If you have any problems with Honor Lock at any point in time, if you click that Honor Lock extension that looks like a blue shield, uh, it'll show you the Honor Lock support number. The other thing you can do if you're having issues is in the upper left-hand corner, it looks like a tab. It's very, very small. It's that blue and white shield. It'll take you back to your Honor Lock page. If you click on this little dialog box in the bottom right-hand corner, it'll offer to talk to Honor Lock support. So um, you can talk to a real-life proctor 24-7, 365 days a year. Um, you can talk to them and have any, or, you know, address any questions that you have. Um, through the process of taking the quiz, uh, if Honorlock does notice anything, a live proctor may drop in and chat with you and they may say like, hey, I noticed that you are doing this. Could you please refrain from doing that so that you don't get flagged, you don't get in trouble. And this is not to punish you. This is to uh, prevent you from getting in trouble or anything like that. Um, hopefully that won't happen, but it, just be aware that that may happen from time to time. When you are all finished, so first of all, you'll click Submit Quiz. You'll yell at me and tell me that you haven't completed your assignment. That's okay. I'm going to click Submit Quiz. It'll take me and show me my answers. I didn't do very well on this. But then to close out Honor Lock, go back to that, that upper left-hand tab right here, this Honor Lock Launch, this blue and white shield in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Click on that. And then when you're done, click on Exit Honor Lock. Do not click this button before you're finished here. Otherwise, um, you're done with your exam or you're done with your quiz before you're finished. So um, when, when you're finished, click on Exit Honor Lock. It'll ask you if you're sure. Click OK. And it should close out your video. You can close that. Oops, let's get rid of this. It'll also offer to uninstall on Airlock right away. So if you want to uninstall the, the uh, web browser extension until next time, if you click uninstall on Airlock, and it'll uninstall it very quickly for you. So that's the process of accessing and using on Airlock for our quizzes and exams. Um, if you have questions, you can email me in advance, but if it's like you need an answer right away, I would inc strongly encourage you to uh, contact Honor Lock support so that they can address your questions. One other thing I forgot to mention is when you are in Honor Lock, um, there will be a lockdown browser, which means that you cannot access any other websites other than websites I permit. So if you try and open another website, I'll be able to see that and you will receive a zero. Um, so you can't go to any other websites to uh, get answers or anything like that. Um, you cannot copy and paste either, so it'll keep you from doing that. So just be aware that um, it will know if you open up other windows and try and search anything. Um, it will not allow you to do that. So again, if you have questions, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, I hope this video was very, very helpful for you.